another day another clear sv video please guys go to his channel subscribe to his content you know his, his videos if you enjoy them this one's called claire tells sid that she's a brocon she 100 percent is <sighs> What happened? Dark past? When she was five? Dad probably wasn't bald at this point, right? Because they keep making... Whenever the dad's around, clear shits on that. She just calls him, shut the fuck up, baldy. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't look different person with that lush head of hair. They're so mean to the baldies, man. So he deceived us all. Bald. Doesn't that mean Sid will also be bald in the future? Well, I'm with magic. I'm sure we can get slime hair. No, come on. It's not going to be a big deal. Yes, deceived by Baldi. You guys know what catfishing is, right? Catfishing is like, you know, you're, you have like a profile picture of like a cute anime girl, like a cute girl online and, you know, messaging chats. But then it's like a 40 year old uncle that's like running the girl, right? So ha now, you know what catfishing is? Do you know what hat fishing is? Hat. It's when guys wear hats to, you know, to make it look like they're not bald and they could hide their balding receding lines. So that when the girls talk to them on like Tinder or something, the profile pictures, they got the hats on, but they meet in person, they take the hat off. You just got hat fished. Mother got to see by Baldi. I need to see this picture of his dad. Sundere Claire, hold up. It's not like I'm in love with that baldy or anything. Okay. You're more cooler. Hmm. <laughs> Even though she's not a dad cut, I think she is a bit of a broken. One hundred percent, she is. Sid's mother is worried that the dad's baldness is a genetic. Nah, nah, nah. We can overcome. You know what? Lep Epsilon's doing overcoming. You know, nature with you know her own powers. Yes, that's right. You use the slime magic to make bigger boobs, or just have like a toupee. All right, this one's called Alpha. Got jealous? Tell us what. Hello, Alpha. What is it? My God. My God, I, I did not know you were so stacked. No, we don't know. That's, that's your job. You want to go on a date? <laughs> what is this edit? <laughs> huh? Delta's fur. What? Zeta or Delta? Yes, this is the body. Okay, 15-year-old elf. Actually, this isn't even realistic because you know why? Mushoku Tensei, season two at the end. What did Luke tell, uh, what's her name? Sophie. He said that, don't worry. The gray rats are not interested in people that look like fucking, you know, you look at this like a cutting board. You know, there's nothing voluptuous about you. The gray rats are only attracted to that is, you know, voluptuous. And it was told that elves, because Sophie's an elf, they don't like have huge ass honkers. That's why Edna Dice also isn't just huge, but I guess in different anime shows, you know, elves can be just whatever the fuck they want to be. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You have fur on your clothing. I was stroking something earlier. They keep using the word stroke. It's so sus whenever they talk about head padding. You could have just said, I was head padding something. I was, I was touching something earlier. That sounds even sus to you. Stroke is a very intentional word. Aww. Yes. Not Zeta, but it's Delta. Oh? Oh? Have we ever given Zeta a head pat? I don't think so. Never, right? Hungry? Hungry for what? Uh 
This girl does not get enough screen time. The most Zelda we're seeing is from Master of Guardian content. She never says anything in the anime because she's never in the anime. Zeta is very cat like and Delta is very dog like. No way, YOLO Master. You're crazy. It's almost like they're a cat girl and a dog girl. You're onto something here. Mm -hmm, you are. <laughs> Maybe both. You want them strokes too? You want a stroke? <laughs> oh my god, hold up. What is this art? Yo, no, no, this is this is not the manga. Hold the fuck up. <laughs> I, no normal girl poses like this, man. Like I said, this is one of the few angles where you get to ask Titty and face in the same pose. Like, what is this? She has to, like, break her back while turning around like this. Fucking <laughs> poor her, man. Flashback. Yukime! Ooh. Let's stroke her tail. No. No, I'm not going to be gentle. <laughs> Look at this pose, dude. This is so funny. Dude. It's even better. This is the same use that a model, I think. Sorry, the model is different, but the animation is the same. There's like another, like, a, you know, version of her in the slime suit like this. It's even more pronounced because it's obviously like skin tight, but this pose is insane. Look at her. What are you doing right now? What, what are you doing? Like, how the fuck are you doing this pose right now? You're like, you're like snapping your neck so you can show your ass completely to us. A snake monster. My snake. It's a one-eyed snake. A furry snake? No. <laughs> what, are we, what are you talking about here? Hold, hold, hold up. The snake stroking. This is extremely sussy. You know what I'm starting to realize? Alpha's kind of really good. I, I don't know. We, uh, every time I see Alpha, I'm like, damn, I forget that you are the main girl. Okay, the next one. Sid? Was forced to pick? Pick what? Oi! Hello. Sh One more time. That Oriana po that animation was cute. What's this? What's this? Right? Why do you watch her face? Sh <gasps> what? Shido. <gasps> oh! Oh! What is it? A wedding ring. Lemonade. Oh. Just a drink. Just a lemonade. Oh, they were in a brawl? Okay, they were fighting? I, I don't really know what the fuck's going on. Okay, she shows up with the lemonade. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, Oriana. That's exactly. That's exactly how to get on my nerves. He's so happy about this. Liar. あれ。なんか仲良くなってる。いや、cuz who would win, Oriana versus Claire? Um, maybe in season one, definitely Oriana. Now I'm not so sure anymore. That Aurora transformation, I think, is a bit too much. I don't think Oriana could fight Claire anymore. I I think the power gap is too much, right? There's there's no way. I mean, the Aurora form is limited, but in that time, I don't think Oriana could you know last. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But Oriana got shadow powers. You're right. You're one he's one of the few people, one of the nine that got powers directly from shadow. But if you think about it, 
Claire has powers directly from the fucking not not like the, the actual like Diablos. Like this is like the demon. I, I I don't know, man. I I think Aurora the 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 power there, the gap right now, it's not even close. Mm, the two of you. Oh. Sparks are flying. They want that indirect kiss on the lemonade. While she speaks, Claire takes one of the lemonades. <laughs> You're gonna slobber on that drink with your brother? Your blood related brother? Oh? She is thirsty. Very thirsty, but not in the literal sense. Rose takes one of the lemonades. They just want to lick all over that cup, dude. They, all, all over that cup. They just want to get that indirect kiss in it. As his blood related sister, how could you possibly share my brother's saliva? No, it's mine. Wait, wait, she's the student council president? I completely forgot about that fact. Okay, oh, okay, it's fine. Yeah, that's right. Sharing a cup between you two siblings, that's against the fucking law. Mm. Blood related. <laughs> See, you would think so, right? Because she has no chance. If it's a blood related sister, there's no way a sister should be able to get this. But I don't know. Claire's a little bit built different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is so weird seeing Oriana like this again because this is like season one Oriana when she was like so lovey dovey with, you know, before all the stuff happened with her dad and stuff, right? Before she was like a complete like fugitive. I forgot that she was this like bubbly girl that was super in love. Yo, that's so, that's actually so sad if you think about it. <laughs> Look at them pouting. Okay. Who? Something similar? They both want your Excalibur? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lemonade! It's a lemonade! I'm picking Rose. That Rose pouts too good. Who are you gonna pick? Until the very end, Sid finds himself being swung around by Rose and Claire like a planet orbited by two very angry. Angry what? Angry moons. You know what? Who am I gonna pick in this situation? We should pick both. If you're a harem king, you can pick both, but I'm gonna go with Rose. Oriana, baby. <laughs>